Saturday morning. Our virtual meditation practice. Today is Independence Day. We all are home celebrating freedom. Before we start your day, let's start our day with good intention, good beginning, with good thoughts. Leave everything behind for a moment. Things you are planning to do, activities you are focusing on this evening with your family or friends. <coughs> Please take this time for yourself this hour. We all need some healing, we all need some blessings, we all need some protection. According to the teaching of the Buddha, practicing dharma keeping your qualities, practicing awareness, mindfulness, introspection, going inward, practicing loving kindness, practicing compassion, acceptance, letting go, equanimity, keeping your mind balanced. Those are we call Dharma practice. This Dharma practice is your blessing, is your healing and also your protection. Therefore, according to the teaching, believe in you, believe your own practice, believe the Dharma, not the people. Therefore, take the refuge. of Buddha, Dharma and Noble Sangha. That is the best refuge, blessing, healing and protection for yourself. Therefore, today, this Independence Day, think to yourself what is the freedom for me, for my mind. Are you truly free? That's a good question to raise. Having that question in your mind, let's start to do our sitting practice. First, send your loving thoughts towards yourself. 
thinking I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Understand the meaning of each word clearly and deeply, then repeat it to yourself. I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Ask yourself a question, am I truly love myself or I'm just using these words? Using these words are fine, but day by day I want to make sure your self-loving kindness awareness, growing, developing in your mind. Make sure, be sure how that practice happening in your mind. Not just sitting here, sitting there on your cushion or chair deeply, mindfully understand where you at with yourself, loving kindness of Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. <coughs> Think of them individually, by names. Parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, children and grandchildren, 
husband wife may all of my family members be well be happy be peaceful Now send your loving thoughts to a whole world this difficult time all human beings they need positive thoughts healing energy while you are focusing your own healing energies and blessings is it possible for you to project projecting those loving healing mindful energies towards whole world may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful think to yourself these loving intentions are very powerful nature of our mind going negative direction we are so conditioned to negativities sometimes we are believing in negativities that is the only thing many people know therefore this time i am reminding you all it is totally up to you change your attitude your perspective about life understanding true nature of life which is impermanent continue to live your life with your practice with good intention your good intentions developing your good intention creating that positive energy in you there are so much benefit for yourself and also there are so much benefit for many other people whether they are next to you around you behind you or far away from you living in another country or community doesn't matter still it will effect it has a ripple effect to many thousands of people around the world may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful
Now slowly turn your attention to the subtle sensation of the breath. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breath. No need to repress your thoughts. No need to control your thoughts. Let them come. Let them be. Or let them go. Is it possible for you to stand tall without reacting? without condemning or judging whatever come to your mind No need to repress your thoughts, no need to control your thoughts, let them come, let them go. mind wanders, that is the nature of the mind. Understand, 
controlling your mind is impossible. Best thing you can do, observing your mind, not reacting to your mind. Don't become slave to your mind. Be a master. You are the one mastering your mind. Then you have selective thinking. You select what to think, how to think. Now you are not selective thinkers. You let your mind to think whatever mind wants to think. You let your mind take over. Then you are bouncing back and forth according to your excitements, thoughts and feelings, what we are doing in life, keep reacting to our excitements. In this moment as a meditator, as a person who practices loving kindness, mindfulness, you are fully present. What is happening right now, right here in my mind? Then you are letting your thoughts to be. You are not trying to fix it. Tell yourself that while every day may not be good, there is something good in every day. When you are focused on everything that is lacking, it is hard to fully notice, appreciate and enjoy what is here in the moment. Let the beauty in. It is all around you. Learn to see and appreciate what you have as opposed to giving too much attention to what you have lost. Every experience is new and it's up to you how complete or lacking the experience, experience is. Acceptance is not always agreeing with what is going on in your life. Acceptance is empowering yourself with the knowledge that experience happen due to the ripening of cause and conditions.
be grateful for the challenges that come your way they are gift of opportunity to practice acceptance lead to happiness and contentment acceptance is not defeat it is the immense and immeasurable power to allow the present moment to be just as it is and to be okay with it whatever the moment brings it too shall pass until you can accept what is you cannot move into what might be accept that what is pass has truly pass in order to open up what the present moment has to offer us in this opening we become nourished refreshed and revitalized Where's your mind? Please bring it back, back to the breath, or present moment. gently and with <coughs> probing compassion allow your mind to be contemplate all the changes that you have encountered in the last few weeks months and years each moment is a new birth and a death leading to next moment trying to hold on to anything is fetal look into your mind to see to hear to smell to taste to feel and to think then you will be mindful of the new karma you are about to create letting go of the old stories all views clinging to what once was cause paralysis 
grasping for a future set of circumstances holds you back from discovering what better roads lie ahead. The desire to backtrack or reconstruct even will result in your walking around in circles instead of peering around corners to find new paths. Changing the mind can change the sense and does change the universe we see. There is no need to change the universe, only the mind within. As you see the truth, let go of each truth moment to moment order to see more truths. Concentrate on life, on living and on breathing. When one <coughs> meditate, the one first learn to concentrate on life, on living, on breathing. This will transform into observing detachment, a healthy letting go from life, from living, and from breathing. Be mindful that whenever you feel a doubt, that is illusion, that is an illusion. Do not get attached. The feeling is not real. <coughs> Let it go. Let go of your daily mundane consciousness. Happily meditate and replace mundane consciousness with mindful awareness. <coughs> Do not run away from your anger. Hatred or greed. Do not hide from it. Learn to observe it. And it will fall away naturally, as all things do. Approach all this not with an clenched fist, but with an open heart and mind. Worry does not help. Worry can never be justified.
for he has no reality. When you learn to give up, give in, give away the senses, you will be on the way to contentment, enlightenment. Sit down and let it be. How do you feel right now? Are you observing your feeling? Are you still slave to your feeling, thoughts and emotions? If you are, I don't think you can celebrate inner independence. Always you can celebrate what is happening outside. That is, if that is your plan, I don't think it will bring you joy, balance, mindfulness into your life. Therefore, today, this morning, try to celebrate your inner peacefulness, inner balance, inner joy, your contentment. That is true freedom, your inner freedom. Now I am going to chant for you all. <coughs> So many people requested prayers and blessings. This is the best time for all of us to think somebody who needs blessing and healing. I cannot name all the people who requested, but all the names are in my heart. I am going to chant for you all. Please let me. And also you can send the blessing. Bahun sahas ma binim Mit sayudantang Giri me kalang udit go Sase Namarang Dana Didham Vidhina Jitva Munindo Tante Bhavatu te Jaya Mangalani Marati Rek Mabiyun Jit Zambha Sudha 
देहांत विधिना जितवा Please enjoy inner freedom.